what's up, dogs and dogettes, chuds and chudettes, people from all all walks of life. Hello, and welcome back to another chudders video. It's me, it's Liam. Hi, I'm Liam. Uh, <laughs> as you can see here, we're back in this little arena. We have two little itty bitty spiders here. We have the original Broodmother and the Black Widow, and you know what is coming because you've obviously you've read the title or you've seen the thumbnail. I'm going to put them up against two infected spiders because it's going to be amazing. The infected Broodmother and the infected Wall Spider versus original Broodmother and the Black Widow. Just because their HP sort of counteracts the other one, so you've got the infected Broodmother with about ten thousand. You've got these two with about four to five thousand each, and then you've got the infected wall spider with I think it has like two to three thousand something like that so there's like a good a good mix there I'd like to say it makes it fairly even but let's let's see enough enough jibber jabber and let's get into it I'm so excited for this this is gonna be amazing this is gonna be something amazing oh right now we've got a split you got infected wolfie against black widow which is gonna go in the black widow's favor I'm sorry and then you've got a little bit of a mix up here with the oh no 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 it's like a full-on full-on bloodbath here it's been knocked out already. Ah, oh, nice. Right, this is what we want to see because potentially, if this stays like this, the Black Widow will start attacking the infected Wall Spider, kill it, and then they will both team up against the infected, the infected Broodmother, which is good. I'm not really sure what she's doing now. She's sort of just like frozen. She's like seen some stuff. She's having Vietnam flashbacks. Oh, she's in a web. That's probably why. <laughs> the infected. She's stuck in a web. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's from the infected bull spider as well. I remember when he was like, you know, a force to be reckoned with. I'm pretty sure he beat the Broodmother originally. He took out the Broodmother, but then they, they put in the um, Black Widow, and the Black Widow was sort of like the big spider. Get out of that web. Oh! Oh, we've got an upset ready. The infected bull spider is down. It is down. It's down and out. It got double teamed by this one here was stuck in a web. I had to physically go in and destroy that web because for some reason... <laughs> The, the web from the infected wall spider was just sending the infected infected broodmother crazy and it literally just couldn't do anything, which is like friendly fire. <laughs> but now we've got her up against these two. Uh, so the infected wall spider, I, I took its body away. It put up a, f a fairly decent fight. I imagine it did a little dent in their health with its infected attacks, but now you've got these... More or less, this is going to be a fight between these two and the infected broodmother because... The Infedible Spiders was out within like the first like two minutes. I think we're just so used to, to new creatures coming in and bugs and bosses being being introduced with like stupid amounts of health that everything beforehand now just seems so easy. Like all the original creatures and the stuff that came out a while ago seems so easy now. And it's like, oh, it has barely any health. When in reality, at the time, it was like, wow, this thing's so difficult. But yeah, this, 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 this is going to keep it a little bit more fair. Because it's a sort of 2v1 thing going on here. We've got the two actual spiders against the infected imposter. Maybe like the infected... Oh, I've got so many ideas, I want to put it up. This is the annoying thing. I don't want to spam videos, but I guess you guys enjoy enjoy seeing it. If you do, let me know. But I've got like so many different things I want to try out, like so many variables I'd like to try out. Like maybe put it up against like a spider army or something like that. And oh, I don't know, there's like so many different things I'd like to do, but... But I don't want to just like keep spamming all of these videos. But the annoying thing is, is if I make it into one video, it's a huge video and it just makes it more difficult to find what you actually want to see. One, one death has been taken down. I keep forgetting that it resurrects and I think like, oh, they've killed it already. What? How have they killed it? But it's going to twitch and then it'll come back up. Yeah, Blackwood, you've never seen that before, have you? Yeah, that's new. She's like, what the hell's going on here? And like another one. I want to put it up against Director Schmechter and the lasers, so I'm going to be doing that as well. There's just like so many different things I want to put it up against. I kind of want to put it up against the wasp singularly, uh, the infected broodmother against the wasp. It's going to be a really boring fight because it will just drag it out so long, but it will be really cool to do it. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys saw a post I made a little while ago. Some of you aren't from the Discord. Like I said, if you want to join the Discord, join because I do little like activities now and again with people. And that is also how you join the Gladiator Challenge. You go through the Discord, you go to the, the exact channel, the Gladiator Entry, and you enter through there. But also I did like a crash course with some of my, some of my uh, Discord members as well, which was quite fun. And also put out a little post asking for those of you who want to make an arena, you can share it with me or you can let me know and I will use it. Uh, I think only a couple of people did, but they didn't. They shared worlds with me, but I don't know if you made an arena, but I couldn't see the arena, and I looked around the map and I couldn't see anything, so I just decided to make my own one. Uh, but a little tip, if you are looking to make an arena, I want it sort of to look like this, like this sort of size. So you've got like a free, a diagonal free, and then like five across, then diagonal free, five across. So it sort of makes like a decent size 
size actual arena so that they can fight in it and not be like all crammed in and crushed up. So if Grounded actually allowed more than like four people to be in a game at the same time, then this is sort of what it would be like. This would be filled with with spectators all looking down on this absolute spectacle here. They'd be stood up on the on the fences. They'd be screaming, "Yeah, yeah, you can do it!" And they'd be sat up here on the little little scrub seats. This is the sort of view you're thinking about. And you know, I'm thinking about charging like hundred quid, something like that, a couple hundred quid for a ticket up here. If you want a more luxurious seat up there, then we're looking at like maybe like in the grands, you know? You know what I mean? But yeah, get, get back to me on that one, guys. What do, you, what do you think of my ideas? My entrepreneurial ideas. I am very, very excited to see what... Oh, why do I always need to stretch when I'm talking? Ah! Ah! Save me! I'm really interested to know, like, who's actually going to win this one? Just because, and I keep saying, just because of the health sort of, like, balances it out. And, ah, uh, I don't know, like, it's, it's two against one, like, it can only attack one at a time, obviously it can't attack both at the same time, which obviously means one's health is going to deplete more than the other one, so there's still a chance that the other one's going to come in clutch at the end and kill it. I don't know, but I hope you're as excited as I am while you're watching this, because I just want to know who wins this already, and I want to go in and do constant health checks, but then I ruin the surprise, and, you know, I get, I get in the way, and then they, they start attacking me, and, you know, then I come out looking stupid, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll just leave it. I'll let it be a complete surprise. I want to see what happens. I reckon Broodmother, original Broodmother, will be first to die. A jump. Magnificent. You're like a deer or like a gazelle. Except you're not either of those things. You're an infected Broodmother. Is she dead? I think she might actually... No, she's not! She's not dead! I knew she had more than one life. Oh my god, she's going crazy. Calm down! Calm down! She's going mental now, you've really done it. I like how those two again, they like, right, we killed her once. Then they kill her again, they're like, right, now she's definitely dead. And then she gets up again, imagine that. Imagine being the spider right now, I'm thinking like, Jesus, like, give it a rest, Irene. You know, take it easy. God, how quick, how quick are those attacks? Right, anyone, anyone who can do a perfect block, when you do like bang, 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 when they do those like four consecutive hits, if you could perfect block, her at this stage doing them that fast then I tip my I tip my um my hair I tip my hair to you good sir or good madam <laughs> look at the look at that I thought the black widow was quick the black widow cannot even keep up with it it's like turbocharged right the brew power is out my prediction is coming real my prediction is coming real no why are you not attacking the black widow the black widow wants you out it doesn't even attack the black widow which is weird because the Black Widow is happily attacking the infected Broodmother. But for some reason it won't it won't do any damage back. I mean it would have definitely beat the look how much health it's still got. It would have 100% beat the Black Widow in this tag team, because it's already taken out the Broodmother. But that's quite interesting. So that's a weird one. I don't know why it works like that, because you've seen the Black Widow. Look, the Black Widow is just constantly attacking it. But it will not attack the Black Widow. Like, I'll move out the way. I'll leave. It literally wants nothing to do with it. They will not fight each other. That's weird. Why does one want to fight the other, but the other won't fight it back? That's strange. But yeah, that was... So I'm not really sure who won that one. I would give it to the infected Broodmother, just because it did technically kill one of them. And this one, it just won't attack this one, because it obviously thinks it's just too good for it. It's way too good for you, son, I'm afraid. Um, but there you have it. There's that one anyway. I hope you enjoyed that regardless of the fact that it ended very, very badly. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, check out some other videos. I've done some more of these previously, like a couple of days ago. So go check them out on the channel, as well as some of our older content, which you will probably enjoy if you enjoyed this. So thank you. Good. Bye.